Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Michael Mail with Affiliate Rookie where I show you great ideas and great tools to grow your online business or even to start one. So today we're going to be reviewing a tool that's called Powell. Powell allows you to create different plugins and apps for your website and you can use this on Shopify, Wix, WordPress, Weebly, and many more. So if you're looking for a platform that will help you create different kind of forms or pop-ups without even doing coding, then this might be the tool for you. So we're going to do a review of this platform and see what features it has and see if it's going to work for your business. Okay. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this video, hit the subscribe button. So let's jump in and take a look at powers and see if this is right for you. Okay, so we're logged on to Powell's dashboard, and this is what it looks like when you first log into the dashboard. You have information basically how many apps that you have created, how many active apps, and this right here will tell you how much, um, sorry, how many people actually converted over by using your apps that you created. If they signed on a list or they um, signed up to a pop up, you will have that. And it, again, like this is basic information. It's not going to give you a whole lot of information, it's just basic. And then here is what shows how many recent apps you've created and it, the names of the apps that you've given it and all that. And you can actually, if you don't need this, you can actually delete it. And you can actually search the app. So if you have a bunch of apps created and you like, say, you do this for a living and you create apps apps for your clients, you can actually sort it and search for the name of the app in here. And it also has some um, discovering apps and, and different apps like that. Now, if you want to see all the apps, there's a button here called um, explore all apps. So you click on that and this is where all the apps are at. This is broken down to recent apps, recommended apps, popular, boost conversion, get more followers and simple as that. And there's so many different types of apps you can create. Now they have funnels, they have um, media gallery, they have pop-ups, they have uh, pay, uh, pay pop buttons, countdown, so many different type of apps. Now the way the apps work when you create it through here, you would embed a code onto your website page. So whatever page you want to put it on, you embed it in there. And they also come and they, sorry, they also have um, a plugin where you can download the plugin to your website theme and then you can create wedges to use these apps inside the wedges and then you can actually decide in the wedges what pages that you want it on so if you want to use it on multiple pages you can do that as well and you can even embed the code on multiple pages as well to get that in there okay so that is simple and very simple and basic very basic app program and it allows people who don't have the experience in coding and they want to create these type of forms, galleries, put a PayPal button on top of that without having to pay a web developer or a web designer to do it and they could do it themselves. And this platform has a lot of training video on it so it teaches you step by step by step, okay? So they're not gonna leave you hanging and say, oh, here you go and that's all they're gonna do. They're gonna actually give you a lot of training, okay? So let's go back here for a second and I'm going to show you something else real quick on the dashboard. Okay, here we go. Okay, so on the dashboard up here, you have your My Apps, which you can get into all your apps. So if you create a bunch of apps, you have that. You also have different price points and you have support to open a ticket. Right over here, far over here on, a, on the right side will be your logo, your picture, whatever you decide to put on here. You click down and they have your name, of course, my apps, they have the dashboard um, and they have discover more information. I'm sorry, discover more apps and what's new. Now what's new, you click on that. This is what they're telling you. It's like a roadmap, what they're announcing for new stuff. They're telling you what's coming out, all the upcoming stuff that's new features that's been added to the platform. So again, you know how I am about roadmaps. I love to see what's new that's coming out for a platform to see if it's even worth buying. Okay, so if you want to look at that, you can log in here after you create your account, whatever, you can go in here and see if any of these stuff that you're looking for, for the apps to create apps that are going to help you out. So I just wanted to show you that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump in here and we're going to create an app. I want to show you exactly some of the features. What we're going to do is we're going to create a form. Okay. So when you go in here and, and click on any of these apps, it's going to give you like templates to work with if you 
um, want to make it easier. So for instance, this form has basic form, it has contact form, it has mailing list form, it has order forms, appointments. They're all different kind of uh, forms. And you can go in here and edit these section by section by section. And there's another way you can do it as well over here by the widget. You can click on the forms and then you can, this right here is all of this information. So you can actually edit this very simple, easy. If you decided that you want the email first, you can do that. And it's going to take effect right away as you can see that right here. Okay. And then if you don't want it, you can delete it. And if you want to edit the name, just click on it and then you can change the name. And if you decide that you want to make, um, put an extra opt in checkbox, which you have to do when you're, um, working inside the European when you're doing emailing in Europe you have to do a double opt-in so you can do an opt-in checkbox for a double opt-in you can click in it and there you go boom it's added right there okay so then you can just take it out simple as that so all the things that you're doing here on the on the left side with the widgets are being affected in the main um, content area okay so it this makes it very simple and very easy for you to get this done. Now it also has on, if you go on, way on to the right side, it has it where you can see the mobile features. So you can see what it looks like in a tablet form uh, and you can see it, how it looks like on mobile. So that's another thing about this, that it makes sure that it's mobile friendly for anybody who is building their website to make sure it's mobile. And if you are building a website, FYI, make sure it's mobile friendly because most of the people, 75% to 80% of people are doing stuff on their phones and tablets. They're not even using computers as much. So just give you a heads up. When you're building out something for your website or you're building a website, make sure that it is mobile friendly, okay? Just giving you a clue. So anyway, you can very simple and easy. So once you've created your list, or, I mean your forms or whatever you created, you just hit publish. And then what is gonna happen is gonna take you to another screen and it says insert into your WordPress. Now you can insert this, again, I, like I said, you can insert it two different ways. You can insert a HTML code and it's very simple to do that. And they teach you instructions step by step on how to do that. And most website has a custom um, um, HTM section where you can just copy and paste this code into, okay? Now if you, and if you go into certain areas, if you wanna put in a page, you can just add an HTML code um, into a builder, especially if you're using Gutenberg or you use Elementor or Divi, you can just basically drag and drop that in and then take this and paste it to whatever um, page that you want to put. Now, they also, again, like I said earlier, they have a plugin. You could download the plugin and you can use that in the administrative area and this will allow you to use wedges and, and wedges instead of embedding it into your pages. But again, you could do both or you can do one, whatever you choose to do. And again, this teaches you step by step by step how to download the plugin so that you can use it on your whole entire theme, not just one simple page, okay? Very simple and very easy. Again, I'm not gonna go into depth and show you how to do that. I'm just gonna show you the features of this platform. And this is one of the features when you, after you've built your app, okay? So once you get done with all that, you just hit done and simple and then you're done, it's all good. And you can hit this little button here to go back to the dashboard. And then once you create your app, it's gonna show up here in the, in the list of apps, okay? And that's simple as that. It's gonna tell you how many apps you have and if any of the apps are active. And you can get rid of some of these apps by hitting these little three little dots and they'll clear it out. Simple as that, okay? So this is, a, it's a very, this is gonna be a very short video because this app is very simple and easy to use. And there's a lot of training inside this platform to teach you how to do things step by step. And they even give you some great tips. Okay, so I'm now going to show you the nitty gritty. Now, okay, I'm gonna show you the price points of this, okay? So, the price point for this, you could start out for free and it would take um, up to 24 hours. So if you put this app, conversion, I'm sorry, the HTML code onto your website and you need to change and update, it's gonna take 24 hours if you have a free account, okay? Yes, this, you can actually get it done like that. It's like time sensitive. So if you have a client say, hey, I need you to change this page and you have the free version, of course, it's gonna take 24 hours. So you let them know it's gonna take 24 hours. But if you're a member and you have a count, like a starter plan, it's gonna take 12 hours, okay? And then with these plans, you get one um, um, feed and you get six uh, posts per account. 
and then you get um, you don't get anything else. And then here you get to shareable um, entities, you get images as well, and you get other things. And that is four dollars and forty nine cents a. Sorry, let me go back here. Four dollars ninety nine cents a month. And then they have a pro plan, which a lot of people go for, which takes three hours to upgrade your app, and you get twenty post ads accounts. You get the share. You get all that. And same thing. And the difference is you get customized CSS and JavaScript. So you can customize your ship. So if you're a person who does build websites and need to code something specifically by using this app, you can do that with the CSS and JavaScript. And that's what JS is JavaScript. Then they have the $79 a month plan, the business plan, and that gives you perhaps 20 minutes to update your app like that in 20 minutes. And then you get 15 um, hashtags, feeds, you get 50 uh, post to your accounts. So what this exactly is, if you use one of the um, feeds, it will you can actually post stuff automatically to your account. Okay, that's what these are. And they do uh, 50 and they do 20 Instagram when you have the 79 business plan. And then you have the other features as well. Now you also get manual approval and then you get on and then you get the business upgrade to all 50 power apps. So that means you get more apps on top of what you've seen this, this 50 more on top of that. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something, how to get this on a really good deal. So app Suno is running, especially on this plan. It's $59 lifetime and you get the business plan. So the business plan here was $79.99 a month. Here you get it for $59 one time payment and you get all the features, all the features of the business plan. Now, what comes with the with this? You get all the features, of course, which I explained, unlimited forms, you get um, submission per month, you get acceptable payments through PayPal and Stripes, you get auto response emails, you get display unlimited photos and videos, you get the shareable entries, you get the images um, hover effect, you get the custom CSS and JavaScript, and you get manual approval. That's what you get for this plan. Now, this $59 is for one website, and it's 15,000 page per view. So if you have a website and you're getting more than 50,000, uh, sorry, 15,000 views, you want to then go to the next plan, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then you get unlimited access to all 60 plus apps. So when they get more apps that they require you to have a little higher membership, you get all that. Okay. And you get the instant, you get included the form builder, you get the pop-up social feed, you get all these features included. Now, they have $118, which you can double stack. You can stack, but you can um, stack the code. So you get two websites, but you get unlimited progress. Uh, sorry, page views. So that means if you are looking to do, say, you have mm, 25,000 people viewing your website a month, you definitely want the unlimited, especially if you want to make your life a lot easier. Okay, and especially if you don't know how to code. So go with the unlimited, and you get all the features here now. You can stack up to 10 codes. The highest you can go is $590 lifetime. You get 50 websites. You get unlimited everything. Now, if you're a person who wants to start a business, this may be the business for you to start because this platform will allow you to create for different websites and you can charge people to create apps and then you can charge them a small monthly fee to maintain and update those apps. Okay, so that is a business that's a really good business to start. It's 50 websites and you get unlimited everything every month for $590. That's investment, especially if you are starting out a business or you even have a web designer and you know that you're going to be building 50 websites within the next, you know, six months or not even six months. It takes quite a bit of long time to build a website, but within two years, you want that. And again, these don't expire. So that's FYI. Again, you can stack up the 10 codes. So these are lifetime plans. 59 is the first one for the first website. And then you have two websites, $118. And then I went straight to the 10 codes. Again, you can stack up to 10 codes and you can see there's different type of plans. 177 for six websites, uh, 236 for 10 websites, and, and then five code to stack is 295 for 15 and goes on and on again i just went straight there to the 10 just to show you that you can stack up the 10 codes okay so if you like this platform there will be a link at the bottom for you to grab this on AppSuno. and fyi i am affiliated with AppSuno, so anything you purchase i get a small commission to help my website grow and if you do miss 
the AppSuno promotion, there will be a link for you to get these prices here. And again, these are not bad. And oh, I forgot to say, tell you, you know how I like to save money. You can do annually. So it's $4.49, you'll save a little money there. $10.79, it comes out to a monthly, uh, a monthly, and $71.99 monthly. So, but these are annual plans. So if you buy that, you'll save 10% off your sales. Okay. So again, this app is for people who are don't want to do any coding. I mean, if you're a web developer or web designer, this may be good for you because maybe you don't want to be hassling customers. Like I want to customize form. I want to customize button. You can do it through here and then you can actually tell them, okay, this is what I can get for you and you can pay for this every month or you can buy the AppSuno deal and you can have them charge them maybe $10 a month or $15 a month to maintain that app. Okay. And that you can basically discuss with your client and stuff like that. Okay. So again, this is Michael Mail doing a quick review of Powell's features and how easy it is to use this platform to make your job a lot easier when it comes to making forms or pop-ups for your website. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this video, hit the subscribe button. This is Michael Mail with the Philly Rookie. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you on the next one. And you have a great day. Bye.